Hi, and welcome to the video course for Microsoft Office Word 2016. My name is Patrick Lohner, and I'll be your instructor on this course. We're going to start with a little bit about my background. I've been in the uh, IT industry, actually, for about 18 years, uh, working as a network administrator and a Microsoft certified trainer. And of course, along the way, I've uh, uh, done my fair share of applications training as well, and I've also used the Office programs personally, every version. Uh, since I think Office 97 uh, was the first version that I uh, was involved with. I heavily use, uh, of course, Outlook, Excel, PowerPoint, Word, uh, you know, all of those. Very well versed in the differences, the older versions to the new, the compatibility issues from an IT perspective, but also just using them from an application perspective. So I'm excited to be able to go through these courses and share this information with you and get you uh, ready to use the latest version of Microsoft Office. So in this first topic, we're going to talk about sorting table data, because when you enter data into tables, you are probably just doing so without any real order in mind. You may be receiving the information from another source, and so you're just cutting and pasting the information as you receive it. You can try to put it in alphabetical order or numerical order, but that's going to be time consuming, and you're probably still going to end up with everything not being exactly the way that it should. So how then do we go about sorting information? Well, Word makes it easy to sort the data inside your table into meaningful groups. When we use the term sorting, we're just talking about putting the data in ascending or descending order, and that can be either alphabetic order or numerical order. You can sort tables on a single level or multiple levels. So, you know, if it's a, uh, a list of customers, that list could be sorted by zip code only or it could be sorted by city first, then zip code, if there happen to be numerous zip codes within uh, a city. We could sort by alphabetic name and then account number, you know, those kinds of, of things, all right? It's not necessary when you're doing sorting to have column headings, although it makes it easier and more meaningful if you do. Uh, and if you do, as you can see, we can, in the single level sort, refer to the fact that the, that the list does have a header row. All right, so we're just sorting by, you know, a particular column that you want to sort the table. Then we're specifying the sort order of ascending or descending. And then we can do the multi-level sort if we would like just by choosing another column. Come on. 